I am sure all you gamers are really excited about the upcoming Nintendo Switch 2. No wonder the rumor mill is going crazy nowadays, as people come up with some of the craziest theories as to what the new Switch will be like. While most of them are fake, some of them have logical backing, giving us an insight as to what the innovative console will be like. Hello and welcome back to Modern Day Geeks. Today we will be talking about the Nintendo Switch 2. The gaming world has been patiently waiting for its release, yearning to find out what the new gaming console will be like for Nintendo. You must be wondering, well, what do we know so far? Well, stick around till the end as we answer the question and more as we delve into the various details surrounding the sought after console. Without further ado, let us begin. The main thing everyone is concerned about when it comes to a new version of a popular piece of technology are the specifications. We already know how the Nintendo Switch was already pretty decent, so how on earth can they amp up the Switch 2? Well, according to various reports, there are a lot of projected hardware enhancements with the Switch 2. Leaks and rumors suggest that the Switch 2 will use a newer NVIDIA system on chip or SoC that will be more powerful than the Tegra X1 SoC found in the current Switch model. This will be a significant jump in power and will surely amp up the performance significantly. But that's not all. Reports are coming up that the new Switch will have NVIDIA's Deep Learning Super Sampling, or DLSS, to be integrated into the console. Now, this is great news, because if DLSS were incorporated, the console's graphics capabilities would be greatly improved, allowing for more fluid gameplay and possibly even 4K gaming via upscaling. This would put it up against full-scale consoles like the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. Like I said, these are exciting times for the people over at Nintendo. Moving on, the memory will also be upgraded. DDR5 RAM is expected to be the standard on the Switch 2, providing a significant performance boost above the memory found in the original Switch. While the precise memory size is yet unknown, estimates place it around 8 and 16 gigabytes, which would be sufficient for improved load speeds and lag-free multitasking. I know that the console sounds like it will have less memory, but keep in mind that it is a virtual console, so it does not need a lot of it. 8GB is more than enough for it to handle top games. That must be enough, right? We've already talked about so many different hardware and software updates, but guess what? There is more, because with the Switch 2, there will also likely be an improvement to storage, with the Nintendo possibly going the NVMe or EMMC route. By reducing wait times and increasing frame rates, these quicker storage options may boost system performance as a whole. I am telling you, it will be a small console loaded with some of the strongest hardware ensuring you guys have an amazing time. Okay, so now we know what to expect from the new Nintendo Switch 2, but the next question is, when can we expect it? We don't have much in this regard because Nintendo has been quite tight-lipped on the release date, but as usual, there are a lot of rumors and speculation. Well, firstly, there have been hints that the second generation Nintendo Switch is far along in the production process. In fact, the console's development kit has already made its ways in the hands of partner companies. It goes on to show how they have progressed in its development. But when is the date? Well, according to various sources, it is speculated that the Nintendo Switch 2 will be released sometime beyond April 2024. The current CEO, Shuntaro Furukawa, has been dropping hints that no new gear will be released before this time, suggesting a clean slate for the next fiscal quarter's hardware sales. So, I guess you'll have to be patient and wait for almost a year before you get to see the Switch 2. But other reports also suggest that since Nintendo usually announces its systems far in advance of their actual release date, there's a big possibility that the Nintendo Switch 2 may follow the same release schedule as the original Switch, which saw its introduction in October 2016 and subsequent release in March 2017. So who knows what will happen? One thing's for sure though, we will have to wait for next year at least before we get to see the Switch 2. Till now, we have discussed the upgrades and the potential release dates. Now, let us talk about money. I mean, this is something we see with a lot of consoles. The manufacturer needs to make sure that the perfect price is set, not too expensive as it would hinder sales and not too cheap, such that the supply cannot match the demand. To no one's surprise, it is speculated that the Nintendo Switch 2 will be slightly more expensive than the original Switch due to the projected hardware upgrades and technological breakthroughs. But this won't be just any ordinary price hike. If you didn't know, some of the original Switch's affordable price points came from the careful selection of low-priced hardware components. But that was because it was a make or break for Nintendo to come up with a console that was successful. 
Now, since the console has made a name for itself, production prices could go higher due to upgrades like a newer NVIDIA SoC, DDR5 RAM, and better storage options being implemented. Let us take a rough guess. We know when the Nintendo Switch was released way back in 2017, it was priced at a modest $299. Now we know for a fact that the Switch 2 will be priced more than this. On the other hand, we use Valve's Steam Deck as a comparative price point because of its remarkable specifications and reasonable starting price of $399. Now, since this is direct competition, you can bet Nintendo will set a similar price to compete with Valve. And besides, Nintendo often strikes a middle ground between accessibility and profitability in setting its prices. It did the same with the original Switch. Typically, the corporation loses money on the sale of its consoles at launch but makes up the difference in revenue through the subsequent sale of games and other components. Because of this, it's feasible that Nintendo might offer the Nintendo Switch 2 at a price that both attracts customers and works with their marketing strategy, despite the fact that it might feature improved hardware. We'll have to wait for official announcements to find out how much Nintendo plans to charge for the Switch 2. It is projected it will be around the $400 mark. While we can't say for sure right now, to confirm this, we will have to wait for next year. Lastly, we have heard a lot of you are questioning whether the Switch 2 will have backwards compatibility. This is a big issue for every console, as the ability for players to play original games for their Switch will really want them to upgrade to the Switch 2. Moreover, to be able to transfer their game libraries from the original Switch consoles to the new system without any hassle is a big plus. While it hasn't been confirmed, various reports suggest that there is no way Nintendo releases a new console without backwards compatibility. It's likely that digital copies of games will be compatible with the Switch 2, as the system is slated to have a similar backend to its predecessor. So, it will not be a hassle in incorporating the backwards compatibility feature in the Switch 2. While we eagerly await official announcements from Nintendo, the rumors and speculations paint an exciting picture of the future of handheld gaming. Up till now, from the looks of it, it seems as if things are looking rather bright for the Switch 2. We hope they nail the release as they did with the Switch. And who knows, maybe they will add even more features in the coming year before release. Guess we will have to wait and watch. So that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon on your way out. We're the Modern Day Geeks, and we will see you all next time.